Welcome friends to Farm Fresh Designs 59. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer and subscriber, thank you so much. You know how much I appreciate you. My first project is putting some air dry clay in a mold made by the company called Zuri. I recently used one of their molds in one of my videos and so many com people commented and said that they'd never heard of this company before and talked about the incredible detail that you find in these molds. So I wanted to bring out some other ones that I have made by this company. This particular mold is of a bird putting his little beak into a flower to get the nectar. So I painted a cigar box with Debbie's DIY Farm Fresh paint. Then I added the mold to it with tight bond glue. And then after I had let the air dry clay set up for a pretty good while, then I painted it with that same Farm Fresh color. Now after I let everything dry really well, then I went in with Dixie Bell clear wax and I put wax all over the box and on the mold. And once it's set up, then I use Dixie Bell brown wax. Now, if you've never used dark wax before, it is very, very important to put clear wax on first. Because if you don't, and you put that wax on the darker wax, and you don't like it, it is not gonna come off. And so the best practice is just to use clear wax first. Now it might look like a lot of the wax is not coming off, but I wanted it to have those different grades of brown color in the, in the mold and on the box. And I like the way it turned out. It's really pretty in person. Now, because I made the mold with air dry clay, I was just a little hesitant to push too hard on that mold because sometimes air dry clay can take, you know, a day or two to set up completely. If I had made the mold with resin, I probably would not have been as hesitant to push down and push that brown wax into the mold. But um, there was one time that I pushed down on the mold and some of it kind of came up a little bit and there was a little white spot right there. But because I was using that brown wax, I just put the brown wax on top of that and covered it up. And now what I'm using is Golden Rule Gilding Wax, and that also covered it up. And I'm putting it on with my finger, and I start out kind of light, and then I end up putting it on pretty heavy because there's so much detail in that mold that I really wanted that to pop out. And I love the final result. It is so beautiful, and especially with that brown wax on it and then the gold gilding wax. And look at it. Is that not amazing? I, I just love it. Now, if you're liking the video today, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm now using an IOD paint inlay. Now, I will put the name of it in the description box, but it is a toile inlay, but I don't want to butcher the name of it and say it wrong, so I'll put it in the description box. And this is for a frame that I used recently, and I painted a just a piece of foam board that I cut to the right size with um, black paint. And the paint is Little Black Dress made with DIY. Now with the paint inlay, I've done it a couple times and they're really starting to grow on me. And so one of my viewers mentioned that before you put down that inlay, after you're going through the whole process to mist it, and it worked so much better. So you paint it once, let it dry, put a second coat of paint on it, and it's kind of like the, you know, the three little bears it has to be just the right amount of paint. You miss the front of the inlay, lay it down, and then you're going to um, mist it, and then you can use the brayer to push down it, push it down some. Then you let it dry, and it usually takes about an hour or two. You mist it again, and then you wait 60 seconds and you pull it up. 
And oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my good, I just love it. I love how those colors really pop on that black background. Now they say that you can use the inlays two to three times, but because I'm using it on a black background, some of that black paint that adheres to it might come off. And that's that same frame I've used before. Now this is another piece that I've used before, and I use the back side of it, and it's that old wedding banner that I had in one of my previous videos. I painted it white, and then I made sure to seal it really well with clear sealer, and this transfer is really large, and it's made by Redesign by Prima, and once again, I'm not going to be able to say the name right, so I'll make sure I put in the description box below. But it's a birdcage, and it is gorgeous. Um, and I'm also going to share a link with you um, with a company in Texas. And right now, all of their redesign by Prima is 25% off until July the 1st. So if you see any of these products today, you want to go ahead and make sure you order them. Now, one more time, you're going to see a frame that I've used in the past. And I've put down a decoupage paper that you'll see in just a minute, but I'm going to use some mold. All I did was I cut out a new back piece with some heavy cardboard, painted it. I think I used buttercream. And I'm going to put some molding on it, but because it's just heavy cardboard, I didn't want to use air dry clay because I thought it would make it too heavy. So I'm using hot glue. If you've never used hot glue before in a mold, you're going to want to use a hot glue gun that goes at least to 100 watts temperature. And I have two hot glue guns because when that glue is in the barrel, it flows out very quickly. But um, that glue that's in the barrel, once it kind of runs out, it helps to have a second glue gun close by so you can finish it up and kind of keep it flowing. You push that hot glue, you kind of keep the tip of it right in the previous glue and it just comes out so smooth. But if you use a low temperature glue gun, it's not going to work as well. And this is the IOD mold called Dainty Flourishes, and it's one of their brand new molds. And it's so pretty. It, I love all the different pieces to it. So all I'm doing is just going through and picking out three different pieces that I want to put onto the background of this particular um, decoupage paper. So if you've never used hot glue before in a mold, um, what I really like about it is you also don't have to put any cornstarch in it. You just begin to pour it in. And hot glue sets up really quickly, a lot like resin. But it is also a pretty inexpensive way to use your molds, you know, once you buy the heat um, guns. Um, and you can see how it looks when it first comes out. And it's going to come out clear, and you're going to paint it just like you would anything else. So tell me something. Have you ever used hot glue in your silicone molds? Um, I really like it. Um, you do have those little strings because it's that hot glue, so you just kind of pull it off. But it's really flexible, and you can add it with either tight bond glue or think about it. You can use hot glue to put it on top of things because you're just melting what you've already done. But it doesn't melt the mold. It just kind of goes together pretty seamlessly. Now this decoupage paper is a um, paper that's got a birdcage on it. And it's made by Reba Rose Creations. But it's really pretty and I just tore it because all I wanted was the um, particular birdcage. I didn't want anything else that went around it. And those are the mold pieces that I used. And I painted it that same color as in the background. And I'm adding it on with tight bond glue. Now, one of the things that you saw just a second ago is when I put down that decoupage paper, I used liquid patina. And um, I saw a 
person recently and they use like a little piece of saran wrap folded up to kind of press on top of something when you use liquid patina and it helps so much with not having so many wrinkles and i didn't use hot glue to put these molds down because i wanted to keep the weight you know or not so that it wouldn't be really heavy and i'm going to put it in that oval framed mold um front gracious i can't talk today <laughs> i'm going to put it in that um frame that is in the shape of an arch and I'm also, once it gets dry, I'm going to be using gold gilding wax on top of that. Then once it gets all finished, I decide to go around the frame with gold gilding wax also. Now, there was one more little piece of the decoupage paper that was just a little bird, and I decided to go and put it up in the corner. So tell me something, what do you think? Do you like this one as well? I have used these three frames so much already and I really like them. And I'm gonna keep them because I like just adding to them. And then I do go by and put the gold gilding wax. But look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I love it, I love it. Now because this um, video has got all kind of birds in it, I just took a little block of wood added a little flower from a napkin and then i put um a little mold that i found on amazon it's actually like a cake decorating mold of two little lovebirds and i used hot glue to put that on and i painted it as well and then i just put like a little on the little extra part i just used a script stamp that i got off of amazon and it's just a sweet little shelf sitter and it's just something that you can add to a vignette or if you have a booth and you want to sell these. Now, Lisa from Our Shabby Cottage, she makes a lot of little signs that she puts in cellophane bags and sells them. And she does really well with them. They're beautiful. But this is just a simple little, little block of wood that's got some molding on it that makes it pretty. Now, make sure that you go to Micah Daughters to pick out your redesign with Prima. All right, here is a new product and I'm so excited to show it to you. It's made with redesign by Prima and their H2O transfers. I was shocked at how beautiful it turned out. So this is a book box that I've just found at a thrift shop and I painted it with Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint put two coats on it and I'm going to put this H2O transfer on it. Now I'm using a foam brush to put just plain water on and um, I talked to Maria at Micah Daughters and she said it's about the same amount of water that you would use if you were putting on one of those little kids tattoos. So peel off the clear part and flip it over and you're going to think well wait a minute the transfer is blue and this is gray and that's fine um it just shows you how you're laying it down since you can't see through it and then what i do is i press it down really well and there's a tool actually that they sell to go with it and i've ordered one of those and it should come in this week and you can press it down with that then you just take a foam brush and you put enough water on it kind of like you do a child's tattoo those little things they put on their arms don't put too much but just something to kind of wet down that paper and you let it sit for about three minutes and then you pull it up and the first time i used one i used it on like a little glass bottle um, and i did it real late at night and i didn't videotape it um, because I just wanted to try it. Now, that's not the tool you use, but I, that was what I used. Um, and so I tried it, and it was late at night, but I just wanted to see how these H2O transfers turned out. And I was blown away at how pretty it comes out. Now, that paper is pretty thick, and so when you first pull it up, it's not like other transfers that you've got because that paper's thicker, and you but when you full, pull up that first little part, you're like, oh my. 
I just couldn't believe how pretty it is. Now, this is a one-use transfer, but um, with Micah Daughters right now, um, all the redesign with Prima is 25% off until July the 5th. So if you want to try these transfers, go ahead and order some now so that you can get that 25% off. But they're not expensive at all. And I did kind of go back because I wasn't sure if I had wet it enough and just let it sit there for about three minutes and then you pull it up and it's just beautiful. So what do you think today? Um, have you seen these H2O transfers and have you ever used one? Now, here we are three minutes later. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my, I love it. And think about it, you can then use that paper that has the gray design on it. I just set it off to the side and I used it as a hang tag on that little glass bottle that you're gonna see in just a minute. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. And it's that China blue um, and that French country blue that a lot of people like. So I've got my hot glue gun out again and I'm using the mold that's um, redesigned with Prima and it's called Divine Floral. Now this one's on sale too. And I just um, put gold gilding wax on it and there's the little glass. And remember I told you you could use that paper, just let it sit and dry. And then I just glued it to a little piece of heavy cardboard and I put some script on it and I just glued it on. And I'm just making a little hang tag with that because I don't want to waste it, but it's beautiful. Um, you can't use it again for the transfer, but it's just a pretty little thing that you can use on something else. And there's the little bottle. Isn't that just so cute? I really like it. Okay, I have shared so much with you today. Um, and we went really fast, um, but I'll leave all these products in the description box below. But tell me, what is your favorite? Today, honestly, I think I would have a really hard time picking out which one I like the most. I really, really like all of these projects today. And by the way, guys, I have gone over 2,000 subscribers in just two months. And thanks to you so much for all of those of you who regularly watch my videos. Um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. But look at all these beautiful pieces. I love it. And make sure that you go to Micah Daughters if you want to pick up any of the Redesign with Prima Pop products that are 25% off right now. And I will put everything else in the description box below. So make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know which one's your favorite. Tell me, do you want to try these H2O transfers? And also, have you used hot glue in molds before? Um, once you kind of get used to it, it really is a lot of fun. But look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Um, and I know that that's not a bird, but angels have wings. And that's in, in my little world, I kind of put it, oh, I was not really a bird, but it had wings like a bird. So that's why I use that. So here's all of our pieces today. So remember, if you like what you see today, make sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I've got the second part of birds coming up this week. Have a great day, guys.